Have you guys picked up on all the secrets in Season 7 yet? There's a lot to cover, and you may have missed something important. From the Batman comics to loading screens, the mothership, Believer Beach, and even cat food? You don't want to miss these, so let's get to it. In the Batman Fortnite comics issue number 5, Batman and his motley crew come across a large room containing the Zero Point. Does it look familiar? It should, because it's the same room where John Jones was during the Chapter 2 Season 5 trailer. Batman tells us that the Zero Point was not created by the Imagined Order, but instead is just being used by them. We learn that the Zero Point cycles through a multitude of realities per second. The Imagined Order controls the Zero Point and can use it as a portal to different realities. Exactly what John Jones was doing in the Season 5 trailer. The IO uses the Zero Point's inner to create and control the loop, maintaining control of the island. Throughout the chaos of Issue 5, Deathstroke is revealed to be the traitor working for the IO. Deathstroke then uses a rift gun to escape back to his own reality. The rift gun works by having the Zero Point open a portal to a certain reality, similar to what happened during the Chapter 2 Season 6 live event. We finally got the answer to why the comic is called Batman Fortnite Zero Point. Moving on. Do you guys remember the singularity? Well, it seems that she is once again relevant to the storyline of Fortnite. If you look at one of the pictures in Dr. Sloan's bunker, you can see a silhouette of the singularity. Let's flash back for a moment. When the extra dimensional vault was opened in the season eight event, the singularity's helmet sat on an unoccupied desk in front of the then contained zero point inside the in-between. Then in Season 9, it appeared the Singularity shared advanced technology with people on the island that resulted in the construction of Neo Tilted and Mega Mall. There was even a giant statue of her in Neo Tilted. Flash forward to now of a video where Donald Mustard draws the Singularity on the cover of a Batman comic book, saying, I drew who you guys know one of her names as the Singularity. Uh, this is a super, super important character, and I can't wait for you to see a bunch of the cool stuff that will be happening uh, with her over the next couple of years. So I hope you enjoy the issues. Years, he says. Years! So Mr. Mustard himself confirms that the Singularity is one of the most important characters to the Fortnite storyline, and we can expect to see much more of her as time goes on. What's up with all the cat food images popping up around the island? It started around dirty docks where Io was guarding a UFO. Many of the shipping containers were stamped with the Meowsel's cat food logo on them. Then, crates of cat food appeared around the supermarket in Retail Row. Hmm, very strange. At the end of one of the legendary quest lines this season, Joey will even ask you to collect cat food. So what's all the fuss about this cat food? Will this lead to some revelation about Meowsels? Could he be an alien? Some have pointed out this is probably a reference to the movie District 9, where the aliens love cat food and humans use the cat food to control them. You never know where the movie references in Fortnite will take you, but let's hope it's relevant to the storyline. Now for a secret hiding in plain sight. Did you guys realize that the original Tilted Towers is in the main loading screen for Season 7? We're sure some noticed, but others simply glossed over it. Epic loves to hide hints in loading screens, and now we believe this means Tilted Towers will be coming back as a POI in Season 7. Or it could mean that the mothership will use scraps of the POIs from the past to attack the island through a vortex of destruction. But let's investigate the mothership further. Many have hypothesized that the mothership will soon be going around the island and abducting POIs, Old POIs from Chapter 1 are already floating around inside the mothership. Structures from Lucky Landing and Lazy Lagoon, the Pyramid from Sunny Steps, the Butter Barn, and the Pirate Ship from Chapter 1 Season 8. This means that either the mothership somehow already abducted these places, or the aliens have learned how to replicate certain POIs from Fortnite's past. We'll know more with the next update. 
If you look down while in the mothership, you'll notice there's a hologram of the hexagon crop circle design at the bottom, under the floating rocks. Could this hint at the origins of Kevin the Cube? Could this hint at future POI abductions or destructions? The same intricate design can also be found at Believer Beach, which is the next point of interest to talk about. There are posters around Believer Beach that say, Welcome Party, coming soon. So we know there's going to be a welcome party for the aliens. We can assume it will look similar to what occurred in the Season 7 trailer. And when the party happens, it could be its own live event, either a concert or an action-packed disaster. The boardwalk is now completely painted, so it seems the welcome party is all set to launch. Even the DJ stage is set up. What do you guys expect will happen? What do you want to happen? All right, on to more secrets. If you pay attention, the screens in the underground IO bunkers reveal they're building a bomb. We can assume that this bomb will be powerful and that Dr. Sloan is running the project. Will the IO blow up the mothership? This would make sense for the Season 7, Season 8 crossover event. You can also find the IO constructing a new outpost near the center of the island. We've heard rumors that this area will turn into a low gravity zone some point this season. As a hint, you will find that IO is also holding a UFO in the barn at Corny Complex to study and learn how to use the alien tech themselves. Additionally, there's a secret UFO you can find unguarded hidden in the bushes underneath the Teal Steel Bridge. Now to reveal the story behind an old Fortnite mystery. For a long time, nobody knew what the bunkers on the island were for, but they always seemed suspicious. It turns out the bunkers are one-way doors onto the island. We know this because of the Batman Zero Point comics. Now, IO has upgraded elevators that come out of the ground and also have underground complexes right beneath certain POIs like we've seen in Season 7. The Batman comics also showed that there are huge stone golems underneath the island that are protecting the IO base, though we have yet to encounter these in-game, but we hope to sometime soon. Going back to the picture in Dr. Sloan's bunker, we can also see the silhouette of a younger Midas. From this, it's easy to connect the dots. Midas is an ex-member of the Imagined Order. This explains how he came to the island in the first place with all the knowledge of the loop. We now know from another image in Dr. Sloan's bunker that a giant UFO is hidden under steamy stacks. But recently, leakers have released a map that shows the Season 7 island with all of the POI names on it. You can see that Steamy Stacks is titled Steamy Spaceship, which means the UFO will probably be raised from the depths by the end of the season. There's also the new Human Bill NPC located in Steamy Stacks, and spoiler alert, he's not actually a human, he's an alien if you couldn't tell. And he asks you for tuna-flavored kitten food! What's with all the cat food?! Leakers have found an item titled Inflate a Bull in the game update files. It seems it's a consumable that gives you cow-like properties, such as being able to roll down hills, bounce off cliffs, and be impervious to fire. Cows are fire resistant, don't you know? Apparently Epic really wants us to make a connection between alien abductions and cows, because the Guernsey skin came out the same day Season 7 dropped. There's also the missing image of John Jones on the milk carton back bling of Guernsey. Could this be the real John Jones in a cow suit? Is he trying to hide from IO? Maybe he's hoping to get abducted by aliens so he can escape the loop. In terms of returning, we haven't forgotten about our buddy the Foundation. Leakers speculate that the lost member of the Seven could be arriving back on the island soon. That's because three banner icons related to the Foundation were just added to game code files with the new update. If you have any other secrets or hints to reveal about Season 7, leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time!